Do you have a crumpled piece of plastic bottle or a dented ping pong ball? Well, we can fix that. Charles Law was named after the pioneer balloonist Jacques Charles in 1787. He did experiments with gas and how its volume changed based on the temperature. Charles never published any of his experiments. He was one of the many people who did experiments similar to this. So many scientists experimented with this law and eventually Charles Law was officially published in 1803 by Joseph Louis Gay Luxon who credited this discovery to the research of Jack Charles, where it states that the volume of gas is proportional to the temperature. This law tells us that the quantity and pressure of gas are kept constant. The volume and temperature have directly proportional relationships. That means, if the temperature increases, then the volume also increases, and vice versa. We can see this in this formula, where the initial volume of the initial temperature of the gas equals to the final volume over the final temperature of the gas. This law can be seen in many different situations. Hot air balloons are a perfect example of this law. It is inflated by a flamethrower, which heats up the air inside, and they expand and spread out while filling up the balloon. With this experiment that we will be doing today, we will be proving this law that raising the temperature of the gas will raise its volume. Our experiment will require things that you will most likely have in your home, so let's get to it. For our experiment today, you will need a crumpled plastic bottle, a pot of boiling water, a basin, and a pair of tongs. Warning, there's a risk of getting burns during this experiment, so please practice caution and wear your protective lab gear. Also, have adult supervision if you're much younger and require some help. But besides that, this experiment will be pretty fun, trust me. Carefully pour the boiling water into the basin. If you are much younger, ask for an adult to help you. Using your tongs, put the bottle into the basin. Now watch carefully what happens to the bottle. Pick up the bottle using the tongs. Wait for it to fully cool before inspecting it with your hands. Some observations from this year's experiment. Before we place the bottom to the boiling water, it was quite small than the original form. When we place it in the water, notice how some of the dents started to pop back up. After we took it out of the pot, notice how bigger than before it was and how it relatively returned to its initial shape. Now, how do we explain what happened? I didn't replace the bottle with a new one, and I obviously didn't use magic. This happened because of Charles' law. Not magic, not illusion, it's science! Let's take a closer look at what really happened during our experiment. Before placing the bottle into the pot, the gas particles were at room temperature, and since the bottle was crushed, we know that it was not at its full volume. When we place it inside, hot water heated up the plastic bottle. Heat was transferred from the water to the walls of the container, then to the air inside. Increasing the temperature of the gas increases the kinetic energy of the gas particles. As a result, these particles get excited so they move much faster rate within the bottle. Because they are excited, they spread further and further apart from each other. They spread out, they expand, which increases the amount of space taken up. Since the air particles occupy more space, therefore volume increases, but how does the bottle go back to normal? Because the air requires more space, they expand against the walls of the plastic, popping back the dent and returning into the container to its full potential to create more space. And so after a while, it's like you have a brand new bottle. This is one of the hundreds of ways that you can test Charles' law at home. These experiments could be vital in discovering new applications in the field and even in the real world. So check out other lessons and fun activities. Also, you can learn about Gay Lussac's law and Boyle's law, which can also be found on the site. Thank you for watching and keep learning.